So my name is Phil Parry. I'm chairman of a company called Spinnaker Global. We style ourselves as maritime people experts. Uh, I'm also a board member of Maritime London, so I'm wearing that hat here today as well. So you've asked me why leadership's important in the maritime industry. Obviously, it's important in any industry, but in shipping, it's particularly important because of the safety consequences of getting it wrong. Get it wrong and people have accidents, people die, and there are consequences for all kinds of third parties. So it's important. And when we get leadership right in shipping, then we have happier crews, happier staff, and morale spreads through the organization. And it's poor morale and people who've been badly treated who make mistakes. We talk about human errors all the time in shipping, but they're caused by something. And very often they're caused by poor leadership. The industry started to recognize that through the STCW Manila amendments with HELM, Human Element Leadership and Management Requirements, and the Tanker Management Self-Assessment uh, Program from OCIMF also looks at leadership and management uh, as part of its training requirements. At the moment, though, my concern is that we pay lip service to those things. Uh, and so as an industry, we need to recognize that by investing from the top uh, in the leadership behaviors of our managers, we will have an impact on the, the way that our, that our staff trust us. They will then be willing to speak up to us. They'll also be willing to admit to their mistakes. We'll learn from those and hopefully we'll have fewer accidents. So in a nutshell, that is why leadership is important within shipping. Well, of course, we've all got lots to learn, and I'd like to hear what the academics are saying in terms of leadership and see what some of the companies here are doing. Um, but more than anything, I, I think I would, uh, I'd like to share experiences. Um, I think also, I think those people who are here from academia need to understand what we, the industry, need. And I think there is a tendency uh, for there to be a disconnect and a lack of communication and conversation between industry and academics. So I'm really rather hoping that what today does is, is fill that gap. Well, I suppose in reality that, you know, whenever you get a group of people together, there are the doers uh, and there are the um, people who talk a good game but then go home and forget all about it. So I think it's about identifying the people that have got real passion and energy for doing something about the subject and then pulling them together. And you know, in Julie Lithgow at the ICS, we've got someone who is a doer um, and has a huge amount of energy. And she means what she says. She doesn't just talk a good game. She actually means what she says. So I think we look to people like Julie for leadership with a, a capital L, I suppose, to pull the rest of us together and get us talking.